Hi everyone. Sorry I'm the driver, I'll not be able to look at you, but um, we are in Akuru area, Kaptenbo to be very specific. Uh, maybe uh, Val, you can just show them the area. Very, very dry guys, very dry. Things are thick, very dry. It's a very unnatural um, dryness. I don't want to call it a drought. Yeah, but basically, um, for those that are just catching up now, you know, the Lord told us to, part of the revival um, journey for this nation is to go into counties. And for Nakuru, the Lord told us to come and begin with the poor and uh, visit the widows. Thank you so much for your giving. The pickup is a bit ahead. We'll see whether, I mean, we'll definitely catch a shot of it later on. Um, yeah, but thank you for your giving. Uh, we've been able to finish our shopping a little bit behind schedule, uh, but the women are waiting. Uh, you know, as, as we're shopping, one of the things that um, we realized was just the soberness of, you know, get into the place of looking at something like sugar and saying you know 50 kilos of sugar goes for six thousand bob we don't have that much and you know sugar is not a must and so you know do we buy panties for four thousand shillings or do we buy sugar for six thousand shillings and it really gets you thinking about um, how blessed we are how um faithful god has been to us that we don't think about such things and yet when I met our host this morning, the first thing she was asking me is, you know, the ladies were asking whether we got them any panties. Sorry, I lost the... Did they go this way or that way? Okay, I think they went this way. Yeah, so, you know, just asking... Oh, there we there, yeah. So just, they were just asking, you know, um, do we buy... I mean, did you bring, are you bringing us panties? You know, you'd never think about that. And if someone is offended, please don't be, you know, these are natural things that we are talking about and we do need to get real in terms of church. But guys, you know, think about it. Um, there's someone out there who, as we are thinking sanitary towels, they can't even use one because, you know, they don't have a panty. So. It's, it's been very sobering and it's been very, um, I would say it's painful because then it, it also changes your prayer angle and your budgets, monthly budgets, you begin to think, you know, I could support somebody a little bit more, give up on the ketchup, maybe give up on the pizza, give up on the, you know, all the takeouts that we do. And that changes somebody's life, 40 shillings. That's, that's the price of the panty actually. Yeah, so um, we've been told we're expecting about 40 widows, so <coughs> we've been, sorry, it's really nasty. I think it will make it worse. Let's just keep the windows down completely. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> so <coughs> what we've done is basically gotten uh, packages of little polythene bags. So we'll pack everything into like one to two kgs and... Um, we got them some flour, um, a wheat flour, uh, uh, not wheat flour, but corn flour. Yeah, what we call in Kenya, unga, unga ugali. Um, actually, we didn't get unga ugali because it was a bit pricey. Okay, so we got, we got some maize, which can possibly be taken to the maize meal and ground into flour. Then we managed to get um, some rice. We managed to get some beans. Um, we got quite a number of sanitary towels in addition to what someone had given us last year. Faith Oko, yay, thank you.